black mold. You guys remember, some of you will remember, I got the HEPA purifier, the air purifier, because I was having black mold symptoms. I had this throat thing for the past month. I think kind of ever since I started tearing into my ceiling. There are signs that there's black mold over here. When I was tearing this out anyway, and I'm sure there's more up under there. On the wood. Anyway, um, throat thing. Been continuous, and I finally just, I'm just, I'm trying to ignore it, because I'm just like, I can't, I just cannot be dealing with doctor's appointments right now, so I'm trying to ignore it, and then symptoms again. Deja vu. Doing this all over again, and it's like, irritated throat wasn't even thinking about my stinging eyes. I wake up with stinging eyes sometimes and it's, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking too much about it. A uh, couple other symptoms. I'm just, I'm going through this all over again. Like, holy crap, I'm just, there's black mold in here and it's making me sick. Making my eyes burn. I don't know what else to do except maybe tear down more of this bad area where it had been leaking previously, even before I owned it. So this is old stuff. And there is rotting wood. Uh, I don't know. And I'm grabbing my HEPA filter on the way. Yep. I think this is the whole area, area right here that needs to be focused on, but... Okay, my package is finally here. Holy so I'm gonna waste some time until then, uh, at some point. Gonna get going and get some food. Got like two hours of sleep last night. I'm feeling good though. Getting, you see I'm getting some fresh air before I go make some breakfast, get my things, get the hell out of here. It's another day of water collection. Crazy how much moisture comes out of the air. Although the more it goes day by day, it seems like the less it pulls out. So that's good to see. It must be drying things out. So nice opening up the front windows and having no moisture on them. so long to dry, dry out. It's, uh... solar panels up there. new wipers already? Jesus. Ugh, the house batteries are pretty low, so every time I try to charge without disconnecting the chassis battery, it sucks all the juice out of it. I can't start. I had a hard time starting just a second ago. It needs a new battery too, but uh, we'll let that run for a little bit and charge up uh, the chassis battery back up. 
since the house battery's kind of zapped it dead, I need to disconnect. I need to have an easier way to disconnect the chassis battery. Maybe that's what this switch will be for. So you have like a chassis battery disconnect and then a house battery charge button. Okay, as you can see we're here at the Walmart. Gonna get some food, drop off a couple bags of trash. So we got a bin right over here. A thumbnail there. Okay, mail was not there yet. I gotta wait till noon for them to sort everything. Thankfully, it was uh, it showed up at like 3 a.m. So it should be getting sorted today. If it showed up, uh, I think they said if it shows up after 10 o'clock, it gets sorted the next day. So we'll give them until about 2 o'clock p.m. Then I'll head back and double check again. If it's not there, we'll stay one more night. We'll have to. It's 11.21. Also, I think here on my mission out, I'm going to swing by the steel yard and grab me some square pipe or square bar. It's an uh, inch and a half. And then reinforce this better. This only has a couple bars here at the lower part of this panel. I want something up higher so I can secure the top part of that as well. And uh, maybe I'll even grab enough to set up my little curtain deal there or something. Okay, got a whole new selection of things I don't usually buy. Steak, big old fat chuck pot roast. Probably, I don't know. I don't know anything about friggin' steak. It all just looks like meat to me. Uh, but I assume this is probably something usually done in a uh, slow cooker for a pot, you know, for a... I don't know, 1373. It's like some tiny New York, something was like 30 something dollars. I was like, holy sh**. No thanks, so I just wanted the cheapest thing I could see and it was just this big old slab of meat. So it probably won't be that good. But the meat looks, it looks very appetizing. And I call, I've been, uh, <clears throat> to go with it, I got some asparagus. I'm a big fan of asparagus. I love cooking this up in the pan with some butter. And for the first time in five years, I see a reason why I could use two burners. And to only have one of my grates, I put all the rest of them in storage. Well, what's the point of having all these grates banging around if uh, I never use them? But I'll have to cook them up and then maybe heat them in the microwave or something or keep them warm in the microwave. But uh, got ourselves also to go with the steak, some A1 sauce, something I've been needing for a while. Mmm, that smells good. Looks like we had a bottle break on the palate or something. A little gross. A1, finally. Oh, something else I also need is some chicken bouillon cubes or, you know, stuff to do. I grabbed my crock pot out of the uh, storage unit the other week. I want to do some, to do some slow cooking recipes. And I think the main thing I need is like, you know, not just water, but I need to like throw in some chicken or meat beef cubes or something um, 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 um does this need to be refrigerated refrigerated after opening for best quality i think it's got a bunch of vinegar in it it's probably not necessary but it's, it's anyway. keep it fresh avocados haven't had these in a while and i love them these are like one of my favorite uh vegetables So we got some of those. Yeah, I got a bunch of onions left over. Those will be good for the crock pots. And I'm always running up with extra carrots. I 
get these carrots and they go a long time. I put them in my burritos, I stack on them in the morning. I just always got this massive amount of carrots, so I think those would be good to throw into a crock pot recipe. Oh, the other day I was looking at this stuff. It sounded kind of good, so I thought I'd finally get some. Valentina salsa picante Mexican hot sauce. I like my hot sauce. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about that hot sauce. Got all kinds of hot sauce up there. No, I'm running out of room. I need to make a, I'm gonna try getting into woodworking here soon. I have took, I've taken wood shops. So I should be, should be able to build me a cabinet or two, or at least a spice rack, another spice rack. I got this spice rack, but uh, some more beef burgers. Yeah, I got plenty of those in stock. No more beef shortages. I don't really think there's, uh, I think it's important to stock up no matter what. Have a little extra food and a little extra water just in case supply chains get interrupted or you know all that stuff it's just good to be prepared in my opinion stock up on medicines if you guys use medicine oh boy you guys I am looking forward to that steak not eating it today though I'll probably save that for the ranch maybe use my barbecue or stay tuned though I am going to share this with you because I am looking at this meat like oh my god I just want to bite it right now I'm craving it. sushi really bad um, I looked up my old, my old favorite sushi place, which is Sushi Hana, Vancouver here. Sushi Hana used to be dollar plates. Now they're, I guess, really expensive and customers are saying it's not what it used to be. Sushi Hana. I ate sushi every day, every single day for like a month straight, but multiple times a week for years. For four years while I was working apartment maintenance, that was my favorite thing to do for lunch, was go to sushi. God, I miss it right now. Probably mostly because I'm freaking starving. Haven't eaten yet today. It is 11.52. I'm on the move. I'm gonna mail the shoe. All right, the package is still not there. Well, it's there, they just haven't sorted anything yet, so. Oh, come over here, we're gonna camp out at the Winco. Maybe see if there's anything I forgot for groceries. Um, but mainly we're just gonna come over here and park behind the store with the semis and the gravel parking lot in the gravel area. Catch up on some sleep and uh, wait for the mail to get sorted. Always got the big old puddle here to clean up. park back here but nobody I haven't seen anybody else do it so I don't feel inclined to do I don't want to be the first one to do it I shop here a lot and if I had ever seen anybody parking back there I might try it but why when we got this big old parking lot here I see some nice parking here so I feel like I can park here It is a bumpy one though, boy. Holy moly. This parking lot is always jacked. But, uh, sleep is sleep. I don't care. Lots of rain! 
this is the Pacific Northwest rain I've been missing. We had a little, uh, a couple days of rain here and there, but nothing where there's a constant downpour. This will go on for days and days and days. I'm level side to side. Always a beautiful area over here. Behind this Winco. I like it. Let's let this run for a minute. Charge that chassis battery back up because that was dead and is sucking the juice out of the chassis battery. I'm going to add that to my list right now to add a, a relay switch for. Uh, Big old disconnect solenoid or something for that power switch there, so I could activate it remotely. And charge separately the battery banks. Dry erase marker, adding to the mega list. I have multiple mega lists now. It just never ends. What was I talking about? That. I gotta clean my clean my bed off here. Went back south a little ways and grabbed my air purifier to put back here. Though I removed a little ring hook, so I can put one of those back so I can bungee it back in. My throat's cured. All I had to do was wear that s silly respirator for like 40. Well, I wore it in the morning too. I wore it before bed and then in the morning left my window wide and open so I get lots of fresh air in here yeah I'm really happy to see my throat feeling finally just like that overnight I've had this throat problem for like a month and a half black mold it's in here I know it for a fact now All right, I went in on a mission to get a pizza. I'm craving one of Winco's pre-cooked pizzas, but uh, apparently this store does not do that. I'm hungry, I'm st freaking starving. I'm not eating yet today. It is 1.20. I wanted just a quick hot meal, but 
Got some of this white American cheese, one of my favorites right now. And some smoked ham. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Okay, on potato bread we got mustard, dill pickles, that white American cheese, smoked ham, coleslaw, and mayonnaise. Throw a little garlic salt on there, but I'm just gonna enjoy the smoky flavor of that ham. All right, we got a good looking sandwich there for breakfast and lunch. Christmas trees. Looking good for the smaller ones. Get the nice big ones at the, out in the fields, at the tree farms. Okay, no sleep. Uh, but I ate my sandwich and I got my package. Got a notification that it showed up so I came and got it. Uh, still was not in my parcel locker. She was had a mountain of them to put away. And, but she was nice enough to you know, check my ID and give me my package. So I got it. Thank God, what a relief. I'm never ordering anything in December ever again. Oh boy, okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna go up, catch up some sleep at the rest area one last time before heading south. It's a bad time right now. There's gonna be a bunch of traffic. So, uh, one more night, get caught up in sleep, and then we'll head back and get some work done. That's a nice Peterbilt. Yes, I would drive semi truck. I would love to if I could hold a normal sleeping schedule. Um, but we've all got our rolls to fill. I think I found mine just fine. All right, we got some unboxings and baggings and packagings on the gaming channel coming up. A couple new games. get a couple gaming videos made I am uh, really I need me some R&R on the on them old consoles of mine and then uh, yeah got a few big projects on patches I want done back at the ranch hmm black mold can grow on any surface mold spores can grow on any damp surface within 24 to 48 hours hmm I was thinking black mold needed wood. I know it's mostly common on drywall, but uh, I didn't think it would grow on fiberglass, but it's kind of starting to look like I got a bunch of black mold up in that thing too. If it grows on any damp surface, then uh, holy crap. I hear uh, this puts off ozone. I also hear it doesn't put off ozone. I'll just play it. Just turn that off to be on the safe side. Well, it's reading red, so it's air is definitely dirty. The one thing I love about this thing is air sensor or whatever is actually pretty sensitive, accurate. Even this stuff will set it off like alcohol fumes or vacuuming dust being kicked up from the ground, the carpet. 